You just need to understand more than just, oh, this is nice. You need to really get it. I loved it. Again, this is what I do. I do what I like. So I want you to do what you like as well. Brown skin does tan, okay? This feels mad red, yo. Mad red. I love it, okay? It's gonna give you hydration doing this, okay? What up, it's your girl, Minna. In this video, we are talking all about my foundation favorites. I have so many foundations, it is insane. But there are several that have definitely stood out to me in all of these, and I wanted to make sure I have a video specifically to this with the shade numbers so you can access it and know what shade I wear. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do that. Follow me on all socials. Let's get started. Now, if you are my shade match, I want you to comment and let me know. What you should also know is that there are some foundation shades, and I'll tell you, that are exact matches for me. Now, when I say exact, I'm referring to my summer shade because you know that our skin tone is going to change in the summer versus the winter because in the winter time, we're not in the sun as much. The skin tone kind of neutralizes out versus in the summertime. More often than not, our skin's going to get darker. So when I'm referring to these shades, I'm gonna tell you which ones are my exact shade, in my opinion, okay? Because you might match to your neck, you might match your chest you might match to your face honey people be doing all kind of stuff okay but when i wear these shades i feel you know i feel like it's a perfect match and i'll let you know oh and if you're wondering the lip that i have on today is rare beauty lip liner the color is strong it's the kind words lip liner the lip stain on the inside is sephora collection cream lip stain in the shade 76 and then the gloss is sephora collection xxl nude i'll link everything below including the actual foundations that i talk about in no particular order First is this Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I wear the shade 8N1. This shade is beautiful, okay? This is a matte foundation. The thing about it is when I say that a foundation is matte, it does not mean that no matter when you wear it, every single time you wear it, it's going to keep your face matte. The mattification of the foundation depends on a lot of things. It depends on your skin type. I have a combination skin type. I'm in between, not too dry, not too oily. It also depends on your environment. So if you're going to be outside in Houston, in July, a matte foundation is not going to perform the same way that it would if you were going to be inside in the air conditioning in July. Or if you were going to be inside at the end of November, it's not gonna be as hot, you see? So it all really depends. You can, of course, couple your matte foundations with a matte primer, make sure you set your face with a matte powder. There's just so many things, matte setting spray, all the things, but just keep that in mind when I say that a foundation is matte. It does not mean that it's 100% gonna make you dry. I don't want you to feel like it's just 100% yeah, it's gonna be mad. That ain't the case. Now, now that the weather is cooling out, it is the fall time in Houston. You could live in a, a warm weather area where it's hot all the time. But here in Houston, now that it is cooling down, I can see myself when I want to be matte using this and it actually working. Granted, it is 80 degrees outside today. But on a cooler day, you know, like a 60, 70 day, this is gonna keep me dry. I say this because number one, you know I like to explain things. I want you to really understand what I'm talking about. Like you just need to understand more than just, oh, this is nice. You need to really get it. If you were to live in the Northeast or if you were to live in Iceland, girl, I don't know, somewhere really cold and you would have put a matte foundation on, let's say you prefer to be dry, to be even, to be just, I don't know how else to explain it. You might find that your skin is too dry, okay? You might wear this in the summertime and feel good, but in the wintertime and on a cooler day, you might feel like, whoa, I feel stiff. In that case, you wanna make sure that you are balancing things out with your skincare, your primer, and perhaps even your setting spray. I've explained this in several videos, hopefully, this makes sense. I like to reiterate because you might be new, okay? But this is a matte foundation. I love this. This color is great on me. It is darker than my skin tone, so it matches my neck and chest more. When I put it on, if you've seen other my other videos of mine, you might think it looks dark. I love to put on a foundation that off the bat looks darker than my skin tone because once I do the whole entire face, it all comes together. Whenever I wear a foundation that matches my skin tone perfectly, and then I do my whole entire face because my, my concealer is always very light, that's what I like. When I do the whole thing, 
my face looks too light. But when I start off dark and then do all the highlight and contour and so forth, it just brings everything together so, so nicely. So I love the way that this looks on my skin. But if you are my color match, I see all this to say that this is going to be a little bit dark, but I love the way that it looks. It is absolutely beautiful. A luxury foundation that I discovered this summer actually did a whole wear test, went to the Burner Boy concert, loved it, is this Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I didn't have very many luxury foundations until now. And I like this one. In fact, I did a Q&A or I did a poll on my IG stories and asked you what foundation you wanted me to use in a wear test. And the majority of you chose this one. So I got it and I like it a lot. Now it's a face and body foundation, which means it's mainly used by makeup artists backstage, you know, for fashion shows, any kind of show. And it's clearly used on the face and the body. I've never put foundation on my body. Okay, you can. I just don't ever want to have to deal with it coming off on my clothing, on chairs, on other people. I can't imagine it. But of course, on the runway, who's rubbing bodies? Like, whatever. But this is a nice foundation. It's not matte on me. I wore it, as you saw in the wear test. My skin did develop oils. It was hot outside, yo. It was mad hot outside. My skin did develop oils. It looked beautiful. I really enjoyed it. I like this foundation a lot. I wear the shade 8N. I love to wear neutral foundations. I have found that cool or warms just don't work for me. Cool is either too red, warm is either too orange. I like the mix in the middle and that's why I choose neutral. So if you weren't aware what all of those mean, that's the basic, that's the breakdown of it. If you put a foundation on and you feel like it's too red, then that means it's too cool for you. If you put, if you put a foundation on and you feel like it's too orange, then it's too warm for you. Neutral mixes the two and I like the way this one looks on me and it's Dior, so like, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Next foundation that I do enjoy is this NARS Advanced Light Reflecting Foundation. And this is the shade Molly. Now, when you, if you saw my video in the summertime where I reviewed this when it first came out, I had two different shades. Molly, I liked better because it was darker because when I, when I work it all in, it makes sense at the end. This one is really nice. It was giving na a natural finish on me, beautiful. I can see myself giving my highly matte foundations a break as the weather is cooling down because I can't lie even the other day it wasn't as hot outside and I forget what foundation I had on and I found myself feeling like you know I feel stiff I feel dry and that's what I mean you want to pick your foundation formula or the finish based on your environment and based on what you plan on doing that day otherwise you might feel extremely oily extremely dry just uncomfortable either way it goes so that's important and but of course that means you have to have an assortment of foundations and I get that you can certainly stop up on some drugstore options just to keep it safe. I've got a plethora as you can see. This one's really great if you want your skin to look natural, dewy. When I say natural, it's like natural finish, like glowy, right? A matte finish is not natural. <laughs> so this is definitely gonna give you that natural look. It's buildable, it's beautiful. I loved it and I still like it. So I'm gonna put this in the rotation this fall season for sure. Another oldie but goodie is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. And if you saw my video that I I did with Sephora this summer, then you know that my new shade is 23. Again, you might feel like it was dark on me. I loved it. Again, this is what I do. I do what I like. So I want you to do what you like as well. My first shade when I used this was 22. 22 could still work. 22 could really work in the winter time when my tan goes away. Brown skin does tan. Okay, then 22 really could work, but in the in the summertime, 23 was great. This is buildable as well. Going to give you a little bit of a do. It's not matte and it looks really pretty. You're still gonna see some of your skin if you like that finish where it's not a complete canvas cover over. I just made that up, cover over. Then this is a great option for you too. And if you're a fancy stand, like, come on, like it's just, it just goes hand in hand. You feel what I'm saying? This is really, really beautiful. And to me, these two are alike in the finishes of them. This one I recall having a little bit more coverage. We're gonna see, you know, these are the two types of foundations again that I see myself using in the winter time because I'm not gonna wanna be as matte. It, really just depend. I'm sorry to confuse you. I just want you to learn. So I just over -splain. I'm gonna over -splain it. You know what I'm saying? This next one I recently tried. It's the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I wear the shade. Well, let's, we'll get into that. <laughs> I have the shade 530 Deep Neutral. Again, I like a neutral shade, right? It's a good at that. You say? Because I love 
the way my skin looked with this foundation. It looked beautiful. If you haven't already, watch that video where I tried the foundation on, loved it. The deepness of the foundation was great as well. However, when I pulled back from the mirror, because there's a difference when you're in the mirror and then when you pull back and you're like, wait a minute, in contrast to my body, or there is a contrast to my body, I was feeling that. It's neutral. I was feeling like it was more red and I didn't like that. I was like, what's going on? And I don't know if it oxidized or if it just was red in the beginning. I recall in the bathroom when I did the video thinking, dang, this is nice and deep. But I know I was like, mm, is this red? But I just kept on going, of course. You know, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna make it work. You feel what I'm saying? But then I looked in the other bathroom through the day. I was like, nah, man, my face is looking real red. Like what is going on? So I wore it one time and I was gonna give it away. It's got a pump, so it's still sanitary. But because I liked the finish so much, I'm going to give it a shot again. So if you tried it and you like this, tell me what you think, because I want to know. I want to give it a healthy shot again because I just loved the finish of it. It was gorgeous. So the jury is still out on this, but I still wanted to put it in this video because I liked it. It's just the shade is a little bit crazy to me. You feel what I'm saying? It was definitely giving a natural glow at through, through the day, right? I will naturally, like most people, will produce oils on my skin. It's healthy. Dry skin cracks. Hello. It's healthy to produce oils on our skin. Oily skin is more youthful, more supple. Okay. So don't feel like if your skin is oily, you're disgusting or this is disgusting. Now, the oils might be creating more acne in your skin. That's a whole different story. See a dermatologist. I have one. It's very important. You could see the shine on my skin through the day, which normally happens anyway. But this looked really, really pretty. So I wanted to include it. Again, jury's still out. Let me know what you think about it. Another try and true foundation. Obviously we all know and love the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Now I say we all know and love, but you might prefer the glowy dewy one. I don't because I normally like to be matte. So this one definitely had to be on the list. I now wear the shade 490, but I really could go for a 480. I've used so many shades of this. So when it first came out, I was 450. I've tried 460. I've tried 470. They were red and just weird. I don't think there is a 480. I wear 4 90 and this is extremely dark. This is more dark than I would prefer on my skin. But when I do the whole face, it comes out so beautifully. Again, I like to go dark with my foundations, but this one is like real dark, like almost borderline. Why are you even wearing this shade? But again, it all comes together when I finish my face. I could go for a 480 shade. I haven't looked in a while to see. I know that the shades were expanded. So I'll look and see if there is a 480 and I'll grab that during the Sephora sale, which if you don't already know, it's coming up at the end of October. October. Come on, son. If you are a Rouge member, you and me, we shopping. You feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna do a video on what I plan on getting, all the things. But uh, yeah, I do still love this. Again, this is a foundation just like the other matte ones that I plan on keeping around for the winter time on days where it's hot in Houston. Or let's say I travel somewhere warm in the winter, then I'll wear it. But if it's a cooler day, maybe not. It again depends. I do have the Pro Filter Soft Matte primer that I have not used yet. The combo is still to be tested on my skin. If you want to see that video, comment and let me know because I still want to try it and see how the two fare together. Today's foundation that I have on is the Dior Forever Matte Foundation. I wear the shade 9N. I did a video on that. Make sure you watch that video because it was a wear test. It's Dior for God's sake. So I love this. I can't lie. When I put it on, it feels extremely cool. This feels mad red, yo. Mad red. And this is the darkest shade that they have, 9N. So that's an issue. We already know these Lux brands don't really think about us. You feel what I'm saying? And we, we think about them. Like, come on, the, the issue's here. This shade is the darkest. Issue number one, it's too red for me. Issue number two. But as you can see, it all comes together when the face is done. But when I first put it on, do I like the undertone? No. I don't ever just wear foundations by themselves, so it's usually okay, right? Like the House Labs one is giving way too warm. Or, <sighs> but it comes together. Like it's just annoying. I have shades where I love that fit me perfectly, like this Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. This is my absolute tried and true fits me perfectly shade foundation. Okay, this is the shade 4N74. Absolutely love this, hands down. 
okay? It's giving hydrated, natural finish. It's, I believe, medium coverage. It is beautiful. I wore this almost 24 hours when I was traveling to Rhode Island. Well, actually, when I was traveling to Dubai and I stopped in Boston, I wore this in Dubai in the, it was February, it was still warm, but it wasn't like July Dubai, and it lasted so beautiful. It just is beautiful. It's gonna give you hydration, dewiness, okay? Hands down, looks like my skin, okay? But like I said, with the Dior Forever matte is red, but then it all comes together. So I don't mean, I don't wanna be confusing. I, just, I have to explain this stuff, right? Cause there are, like I said, foundations that match me exact in a beautiful way with the deepness that I want. And then there are foundations that match my face exact and not my neck and chest. And then when I build it up, it looks too light. And then there are foundations that are really dark, like the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte in the shade 490, really, really dark. But then when I do the highlight and the contour and everything and the powder, it all comes together. So it really is about the mix. I hope that wasn't too confusing. Please comment and let me know if you use any of these foundations, love them, like them, hate them, I wanna know. If you have any foundation recommendations for me to pick up, I want to know too because I got the two Dior ones because of y'all. I got Estee Lauder because of y'all and I love it, okay? So comment and let me know because I do be trying to get what y'all talk about, okay? I'm going to leave two videos for you to choose from at the end to watch. So I don't want you to go too far. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you also give the video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.